this little drone or hover camera as they like to call it is going to be replacing my DJI Mini 2. <laughs> I don't think that I could have picked a worse place for this because of all the flies that are out. Now this little thing has six modes on it including follow me and dolly track. It's got image stabilization on it and it also records your voice with background noise cancellation. It's brilliant. This is what you need when you take your DJI Mini out with you. You need a heavy controller that you plug your phone into, plus the drone. So you'll see why I think this is a bit of a pain to take with me. One, it's a lot heavier with the controller. Two, you've got to take that off, take the guard off, fold out the wings. Then you need to get your phone out, put that into there, plug it in. Take your little joysticks out, and if you lose them, that's a pain in backside. Screw them in. Then you turn the drone on, and then turn this on, and then open up the app on there. And that's the setup for the DJI Mini. And it's the same to then break it down and put it away. And for me, being a lazy person, <laughs> it's a bit of a pain in backside for me anyway. Ah. And with this one, you open it up, press the power on for three seconds, open up your phone, click on the app, mode, hover. click to connect, and that's it. You don't actually need to connect it to this if you're not recording sound. All you need to do is open it up and turn it on, which is absolutely brilliant for B-roll. But for this purpose, I'm going to show you with the sound and stuff. So I need the app open. As you'll see there, that's the power button. And then the one above it is the mode button. We've got six modes, which hover at the moment. Zoom out. Zoom out. Follow. Follow. Orbit. Orbit. Bird eye. Bird's eye view, which goes up and it spins if you want it to. Custom. And custom Dolly mode. Track. The custom mode, you can change that from dolly track or you can use like controls on your phone and you can use it manually that way. So we'll do hover first. All you do is press the button to select the mode that you want and then we press the power button. Hold your hand out. There we go, it's got a red light on that now so that means that it's recording. And it just sucked her flying as well. <laughs> so that now will follow me as I'm walking round. It'll stay in that position and just follow me. There we go, can you see it turning around? And then what you want to do when you finish recording is you just hold your hand out and it lands on your hand. There we go, it automatically stops recording and then just lands. Next one that we'll do is zoom out. What it'll do is zoom out and up and once it gets to the top of its position, it'll stop recording, but then start recording again and come back down. I'll have the app open and the phone in my hand this time so you can hear um, my voice. Not that you wanna hear my voice, but you wanna hear what it sounds like through the phone with the noise cancellation. So here we go. I'll press that button again. It's on nine meters to zoom out and up. It'll get into position and then it'll turn red to tell me that it's filming. So now it's filming and it's going up. So now it's filming and it's going up and you should be able to hear me now through my phone. I hope so anyway. And now it's coming back down. Now, the audio quality might not be the best on my phone, but there you go. You can use a better mic for it. I have got a different mic with me, but it's only a cheap Amazon one. Get away, flies. That cost me 15 quid. Now, because I ain't held my hand out to, uh, for it to land on me, it's landed automatically, but it's come back to the position where it started. 
Next one we're going to do is Orbit. And if you go into the app here, you can go onto the settings and you can change all the settings on here, like distances, whether you want it to go up or down or as a flat thingy. So we'll see what the orbit is. The orbit is at video, four meters, 360 with one meter rise. So we'll do that. <laughs> Bloody flies. <laughs> there we go. Into position, rising up a meter and then four meters back. And now the red light's on, so that'll be filming on there and it should be filming, uh, recording my audio to my phone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just so easy to use. A lot easier than my, uh, than my DJI. But I'm going to show you next with my uh, microphone on, this little cheap thing that I got from Amazon. I've had it a while, but I never really used it. I used it when I first started filming with my phone, but I don't use my phone anymore. Now it's coming back in, it stopped recording, and it's coming back in, and then the green light will show, and that's when you put your hand underneath, and it lands on your hand. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? What we'll do next, is bird's eye view. Bird eye. So what this will do is get into position first. Bird eye. Let's see the settings. 15 meters and rotation fast. So like I say, it'll get up into position above me and then it'll start recording while it's flying up and spinning. All right, it's above me now. It should start recording and going up. And can you hear me through my phone? Hope you can. Hello. <laughs> Bloody hell, these flies are doing my nutting. Jeez. It should start coming down. Again, once it gets to the top of where it's supposed to be, it stops recording and then starts recording again after. So now that... Now it's turned green, and I'll put my hand under it. And there we go. Get out of it. <laughs> what I'm gonna do, fuck off. And then what you do, is you go onto the hover album there, and you can see it's downloading one already, because I pressed download. But then you click on it, and it's got a little microphone in the corner, so you know it's recorded sound. You get a low res preview, then you just press download and it'll download onto your phone. And then that syncs the audio then with your phone. And while that's downloading, I'll just go through another reason why I'm swapping it out for my DJI. So this camera is called a Hover Air X1, is 129 grams with a battery. So if you just had one battery, that's all you need, 129 grams or it's 171 grams with an extra battery which will give you 22 minutes of flight time and if you want to add the charger to that it's 222 grams so that's the hover camera two batteries and the charger for 222 grams it's nothing is it and the thing that i like about it because i'm a crap flyer of the drone it's got protectors of your blades so if it crashes into something it should be fine Although I've not crashed it yet. I've crashed my Mini 2 quite a few times. And the DJI Mini 2, with its guards and everything on, one battery, which gives you probably about 25 minutes flight time. The controller, that's 666 grams. Now compare that to the hover camera that's 222 grams. Three times as light. What I'm going to do is leave a link for it down in the description because it's on a Kickstarter at the moment with an early bird offer. I got it for 275 quid, which is pounds to uh, people in America. I don't know how much it is in uh, American dollars. That'll be probably 320, 330 dollars, something like that. But I'll leave a link for it because there's been a few websites that have been trying to sell this and nobody else sells it, so it's a scam. 
so I'll leave the link for it in the description. Right, so I've clipped my... <laughs> give over! <laughs> Fuck off! And this is the tiny little cheap microphone that I've got. So, the audio isn't going to be the best quality for this, but if you want to buy a decent microphone for it that plugs into your phone, you can do. So it's on follow now, so that means it'll follow me from behind. But there is another mode called Dolly Track, and that I'll I'll show you that after this. Anyway, I'll do it this way because I want to walk over that way. So this should now track my movements and follow me from behind. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> Hopefully this little cheap crappy mic is recording my audio for me but this is what I wanted it for to uh, do my walking shots on my b-roll hi up mate you coming with me as you can hear from the crap microphone that I bought from Amazon it's not very good so I'm here in the editing room but I'll show you when I do the dolly track how I'm actually going to use this drone so in the follow me mode, you've got standard distance. You can have it close or far. Or you have the altitude, which at the moment it's on flat shot. And like I said, you can have it on high or low. <laughs> oh, here he is. My dog's here now. So let's put it onto uh, Dolly Track. Custom Get off. Dolly track. <laughs> and I'll tell you what the parameters are for the custom mode. It's on dolly track, or you can put it into snapshot, which takes photos, or custom mode. Ah, oh, these flies are doing my nutting now. All right, mate, what have you been doing? Oh. Eh? Gallivanting. Have you been at river? Oh, thanks. <laughs> so we're on dolly track. Shooting mode is video. Duration, continue, which means it won't stop recording until I tell it to stop. And the way how you get it to stop on dolly track mode is you stand still for 30 seconds and then it'll stop recording, turn green, and then you hold, out, hold your hand out. Uh, distance is standard, but I'm going to do far this time and I'm going to go for the altitude as high because we had, uh, on follow me, we had standard and flat. And the video quality on this is 2.7K, 30 frames per second. So, let's do... Get out of it. So, let's do the dolly track mode. Set off as usual. There we go, it's gone up high. Now it's recording. Editing room Gaz here again. I don't know what I'm saying there, but I did lose my microphone, so I'll probably point into that. And I had to find it afterwards which took me about three hours <laughs> but this is probably how i'd use the drone i probably won't use the microphone to it but it's really good that it does actually record your voice and stuff if you want that option then it's there isn't it but for me i'll just be taking it out unfolding it pressing the button and letting it follow me but you could actually make a 20 minute video with this with the two batteries like and the videos that I make is about wild camping and adventures with my French Bulldog. I uh, do a lot of wild camping videos and camp in weird and wonderful places. Sometimes something creepy happens to me. So check them out if you're into that sort of stuff. I'll just show you a little snippet of how I will be using it on my camps. Because it'll only be for like 5-10 second bits of B-roll that I'll be using it for. Hey up. There he goes, look, <laughs> running like a girl. <laughs> uh, going back to my old rugby days here, it bit looks a bit. Having a bit of fun. <laughs> well, there he goes, look, umpty dumpty. <laughs> uh, but it's good that the, uh, the drone stayed track of me though. And now I'm saying into the camera something like, if you hold your hand out for 30 seconds, it'll come down and land on you. Anyway, thanks for watching.